up guys this is goggle here with the young cigar aficionados this is uh, gonna be the first youtube video for the channel and we're gonna be going over the new air 250 count thermoelectric cigar humidor this is the front of the box we got features such as the digital hygrometer with double pane glass door you got the digital thermostat which cools as low as 52 degrees adjustable spanish cedar drawers and sh shelves internal fan for circulation re for even humidity, lock and key to protect your cigar collection. For all you know, I don't know, some of you big fellas be having Cohibas or some other expensive cigars, you know, you want to age and you want to protect your stash. So that's my favorite key feature. But if 250 is too low for you, you probably need to go with the bigger options. And if we're going to the side of the box, we got right here, I guess these are the pounds. I'm not sure what the specifications are. My box kind of came pretty damaged, which is uh, annoying. But for this review, I'm just going to give the unboxing and then a quick plug-in to show you guys what it's like. And then I'll probably talk about the pros and cons of it. But it's going to be a short video. As you can see right here, it's got the damages in the corners of the box. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Alright y'all, so there's some things that came in this bag, you got the manual, you got the little cup right here to fill up water for humidity. Uh, from some other people's videos I've seen in reviews, they say not to put too much water. You know, usually cigars, they uh, drink up water like a cactus, that's what I've heard. But I haven't had that issue when I put a little shot glass of distilled water in my uh, humidors or tupidor. And uh, I, didn't, I never had problems like that. You got some instructions right here it says stop please read you know just uh focus on that for you guys so you so you guys could read that it's a little instruction you could pause right there and then read that for yourself on your own time um got all this stuff right here too i'm just i'm just i want to show you guys these uh these papers before i go into the cons because it's kind of more cons than it is pros for me um look i'm gonna be honest I'm not going to keep this humidor for a while or at all. I'm going to go return it today. But the problem about this humidor, and honestly, look, if you're looking into getting this humidor and you're like, look, I want it because it has a lock, it's small, and it's compact, sure, go for it. But here are the cons about having the lock. And I have a new air fridge in my kitchen, and I'm going to show you guys a video of that. Uh, after this like a little clip right here I want to show you the difference between this lock and the lock that my fridge has that's worth probably like around a couple thousand dollars this fridge let, let's just hear I'm gonna show you guys when I lock it right now watch watch this lock okay this it's currently unlocked right now okay sideways is unlocked we open it there you go it's all nice and easy you got a little whatever it's like a little attachment right here so it could lock from right here it's like a switch all right let's close that up by the way it smells really nice with the cedar wood i'm gonna give them that pro you lock it close right big deal oh my god it's locked oh you can't get in uh, no one could take my cohibos or whatever my good cigars right now watch this when i open it 
there's like a gap there's like a good gap right here and if i'm like some criminal like if you if anybody that has a brain just put like a stick right here just to mess with you and leave it open and have the humidity going out and just to mess up your cigars let's say you're out of town and see it, it even stays open a little bit right there if you wanted to you know i don't know i'm just and you're saying oh who would do that maybe you have a nanny you have somebody that's gonna be in your house and you're not gonna be home and you're and they're watching over everything right but that's not even that's not even the main issue. The main issue is anyone with a brain could flip this fridge over. Now, let's say, I don't know, you don't have the water, or even if you do have the water, let's just say they're lucky enough, some of the water spills over to the side, or maybe it doesn't, I don't know if they run some technique. They flip over the fridge, literally under this bolt is two screws holding that metal. They're holding that metal for this lock, and then, it's a gap when you open it now for my fridge and the kitchen for wine drink soda beverages etc etc it's literally a key like this but inside of the fridge it's a metal bolt so it shoots up and it locks into the fridge door from where it is that i don't know you're gonna have to like use a bus saw or you're gonna have to break through the window or the glass to be correct but this one you just flip it over yeah the cigars tumble whatever get some water in there here and there um, maybe not on all the cigars you'll get lucky maybe don't even open this door a little bit pull up that uh, water leak out the water from this cup and then but just unscrew it take out some cigars here and there fill it back up put it in there and then later down the line you're gonna be like wait what happened to my 272 a cigar out of my 300 cigar collection or however much you're not gonna go back and count it that's why you got the lock in the first place you were thinking like me but it's not a hundred percent secure i want you guys to know that when you're going and looking out to buy this newer cigar humidor out of the 250 actually so let's say like 200 cigar out of 250 maybe you could fit more maybe you could fit less i've seen different uh, perceptions of it but that's my con those are my cons for this fridge i want to show you guys the bottom but it's kind of heavy i gotta flip my camera over just imagine two screws that you could just take out with a phillips head screwdriver unscrew it take it out that metal uh, clip that i showed you right there would um just like come out and then that's it you just open the door like it was nothing you just take it out with this and it comes out this little metal clanky thing so right here i'm gonna turn on the light you got a little light right down here up here actually you got your faulty uh, hygrometer right there you got the spanish cedar wood and right down there it's just yeah more space and then you got your box right here and then of course you're gonna have to open the door all the way because you know the rubber is gonna hit the door and you got door right here faulty coming up it's not so bad but uh you kind of get what you paid for for not it depends where you buy from uh this is from best buy this isn't best buy's fault but it's gonna be around like 413 bucks different sellers are gonna have different prices of course you got celsius and fahrenheit celsius fahrenheit light well, and of course, when you're going to put cigars up here, it's going to block the light from the rest of the fridge. Keep that in mind. So, light, no light, light, no light, light. You got your temperature right here, 65. Uh, the most is going to be 74. You got that annoying sound. And then let's see if I hold it. Will it go down? Nope, you got to keep going down and pressing it. Tap, tap, tap. Love that design in your when they do that. Sometimes it doesn't even work. And then, you know if you want to wake up someone in the middle of the night just keep making that noise and then you also got right here in the back your fan noise let me put my mic right up to it sorry there's probably a bunch of mic noise going on right now i don't know if you guys can hear the fan going on right now but it's somewhat loud if you're a light sleeper and then you're just gonna hear like a 
little air blowing from the vent of that fan for this fridge. You might be annoyed. I'm not sure. I could sleep. I could probably sleep through it, but I'm not sure when it does set uh, for this fridge. Maybe it doesn't make the noise anymore. Maybe it goes down and it goes quiet. I'm not 100% sure. But let's just see. If I keep raising it. Come on, let's go up. Say like 65, 70. Maybe I'll stop making the fan noise, but I'm not too sure. I want to really be reliant on that. Uh, I think it would just keep cooling and going on. Honestly, if you're going to go for this cigar humidor, go ahead, take your shot. Uh, there's also a lot of padding right here. No, the money was not included with the pa packaging. But it is securely tied and closed. It's not that heavy. I'm going to be honest. Maybe it is 30 pounds, I'd say. Uh, but, you know, if you're a decently strong man, you could carry this out by yourself. Set it up. It's really, I'd say, hassle-free. If you can't, flip the box over to the side. Take it out. Um, but it's really small and compact, honestly. If you're going to go for it and you want to save some space, I'd go for it compared to, like, the other options that are out there, which I'm not too sure about. Maybe I might do a review on the need one. I'll see about that, but if you want some long-term storage, I'd say this is your route and you're in the budget range, or you know you're in a very uh, variety. You have a variety of weather changing. For me, and being in LA, I'd say I would just do this for the summers. During the winter, it's alright, it's manageable. But when it gets to like 80 degrees in the room or 85, you know, I want the weather to be uh, controlling. I'd go for this or also humidity wise you know and storage actually storage is the key because you know when it comes to having space I might as well just get this because where am I going to find the humidor that has 300 count and when I do and it's good quality sure I could maybe get it but it's like at that point the temperatures are going to change and then at that price range for a good humidor might as well just get the fridge and use it as a storage <laughs> for, for the cigars. That, that just makes sense to me. All right, guys, sorry for yapping on and going into detail about this fridge and what my thoughts are. But it's it's cute. It's, it's a nice fridge for its size. But expect that it seems very limited. And for that price range, you have probably a plenty of other options i'm not hating on newer i love their i love their fridges i love the one i have in my kitchen it's pretty nice i'm gonna go over to you guys and show it right now so here you go right here you have the key bolt you insert the key you have this lock that goes up and then what happens is it bolts right here to the door so when you close it 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 bolts to the door right here under so you can't open it somewhere down there <laughs> 